Number 77, Making the Sabbath a Delight. Greetings, friends and family. Today's devotional is some thoughts and pieces from President Nelson's April 2015 General Conference Talk. The Sabbath day is a day for rest and reverence. Isaiah spoke of the Sabbath as a delight, Isaiah 58, 13. Sabbath is not merely a cessation of labor. It is a day for us to draw nearer to our Creator and to replenish our spirits as well as our physical bodies. The Lord in His wisdom knew that we would need a respite from the demands of daily life, a time for spiritual and physical renewal. He offered the Sabbath as His gift to us, as written in Exodus 20.10, But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. It is a day set apart for us to focus on the things of eternity, to leave behind the temporal concerns that consume so much of our attention. How do we enhance our Sabbath day to be a true delight? It is more than attending church and partaking of the sacrament, though essential. It is more than performing our church callings diligently, though service builds the kingdom and brings us closer to Christ. In making the Sabbath a delight, consider the joy of family, strengthening those sacred ties that bind us to our loved ones. On this holy day, we are offered the precious chance to gather our families together and teach the gospel to our children. Studying of the gospel also enhances the Sabbath, Delving into the scriptures, the words of the prophets, and the teachings of the church can fill our souls with light and truth. Study becomes a wellspring of inspiration through the upcoming week. The Sabbath is further sanctified by family history work. As we connect with our ancestors, we not only learn about our earthly heritage, but also participate in sacred ordinances that bind families for eternity, fulfilling Malachi's prophecy of turning the hearts of the fathers to the children and the children to their fathers, Malachi 4.6. As we comfort the sick, uplift the lonely, and intend to the needy, we follow the example of our Savior in practicing true religion, James 1.27 Pure religion undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction. In conclusion, if we approach the Sabbath with a heart ready to worship, serve, and rest from our worldly labors, learn and teach, and love God and our families and our fellow man, listening to and following the Spirit, it will indeed be a delight. Let us embrace this sacred day, that our joy may be full, and we may be renewed in body, mind, and spirit, ready to face the days ahead with faith and confidence. I say these things in the name of our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Be kind to others. Be kind to one another. Be kind to yourself. Don't believe everything you think. Good night.